Okay, what's up, fellas? This is a must-watch right here. We have a quarterfinal matchup between Maryland and Virginia. So the teams are trading goals the entire game. It's back and forth, and it's down to the wire. We're in the fourth quarter here. UVA is down by one. They need a goal bad, or else the Terps are going to win it. Docs Aitken, six and white here, has the ball. He split dodges down the left alley. Nothing crazy, but somehow he draws a double team and finds Michael Krause for the shot, who hits the crossbar. Ball flies out of bounds. UVA is closest to it. They get back possession. But wait a second. Everyone on UVA is celebrating. This shot is called a goal? What? Let's look at the replay here. The shot clearly, I mean clear as day, hits the pipe. My grandma could tell you that shot hit the pipe. And I mean, I'm no astrophysicist, but I'm pretty sure when the ball ricochets 50 yards the other way, it didn't go in the net. And if you look closely, you can see the goal net shake a little bit, which I guess kind of looks like he scored a goal. And 200 IQ play, Dogs Aiken here puts up his hands in the air. So I guess the ref sees the shake of the net, then he sees the player celebrating, and he also remembers he was promised a steak dinner by the UVA athletic director. And no instant replay, this decision is final. But here's the thing. Earlier in the game, Maryland scored on a pretty terrible call too. I mean, Jared Bernhardt scores on this crease diving goal here. He clearly steps in the crease and the goal should have been called back. So some people argue those goals should cancel out. And anyways, UVA went on to win in dramatic fashion in overtime. Then they went on to win the whole dang tournament. Imagine if this call didn't happen. That could have literally changed the entire course of the NCAA championships. And you gotta listen to the announcers. It hits the crossbar. Virginia still has it. New 82nd clock. Wow, they're calling it a goal. They're Are you kidding me? A goal. Are you kidding me? Wow. And credit to the Maryland coach for not freaking out. He somehow remained calm like, if I was the coach, I would be livid. I'm telling you, I've watched a lot of lacrosse, pretty much every college lacrosse game for the past decade. And I have never seen anything like that in my life. But what do y'all think?